Well, hi, Paul Slack. It's Good News Broadcast. Speaking to Dr. Stuart Goldberg. Hi, Doctor. How are you? Hi. Nice to be here. Nice to get an opportunity to speak to you, the Chief of the Division of Leukemia at the John Thurow Cancer Center, Hackensack University Medical Center, Hackensack, New Jersey. Thank you for doing this kind of work. It's very important. Thanks very much. It's been We're very gonna, rewarding. I'm sure it is. I'm, it, it's a beautiful, uh, I keep trying, my, my grandson, I'm calling him Dr. Jason. <laughs> You guys do such good things. And we're going to talk about some uh, new treatment that uh, uh, slowing uh, uh, disease progression of a newly diagnosed CMI patients. Okay, we'll learn about what that is. CML, I'm sorry. Uh, Data to be presented at the 46th Annual ASCO, ASCO, we'll learn what that is, meeting. Okay, so what is CML? Let's start with that. Well, CML stands for chronic myelogenous leukemia. This is a rare, slowly progressive type of leukemia. In the beginning of the disease, what we see is the bone marrow is just basically turned on and making too many cells. But people are asymptomatic. They go to their routine, physical, yearly exam, and the doctor says, wait a minute, there's a problem here in that you're making too many cells. But the cells work, so they feel good. The problem with the disease is if you run a factory too fast for too long, it starts making mistakes. So usually you're about the fifth year of the disease, if you don't get treatment, the bone marrow starts breaking down, and that leads to infections and bleeding and bad things. Not good. So how does somebody get this disease? Do you know? We don't know why people get it. It doesn't seem, it hits people in young, old, uh, black, white. It doesn't seem to have any type of predisposition. So we think it's just one of those sporadic things that happens. Now, it's a form of leukemia? It's one of the uh, major forms of leukemia. One of the major forms of leukemia? Yeah. Uh, what other forms are there? Well, there are the acute leukemias. Those are the ones that you think about. When somebody says, oh, we got leukemia and things went very bad very fast, those are where the bone marrow is broken down right from the gate. And then there's another slow one called chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which is once again a very slow disease where the, another type of white cell grows slowly over 5, 10, 15 years, just like CML, a very slow disease over 5 to 7 years. And what is this ASCO, a 46th annual ASCO meeting? What, what is happening there? What's that stand for? Sure. So. When we do our research and try to figure out new cures for the patients or new ways of treatment, we want to present them. And so the American Society of Clinical Oncology meetings, which are being held in Chicago, are the largest forum in the United States. This is our national meeting where we show all of our great research. Okay. And thank God for research and thank God for doing it because uh, uh, without the research, we don't come up with new discoveries of ways to help. Uh, and uh, with major companies, uh, Novartis, whoever is behind this one, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of money and effort and energy, uh, right? You, well, you're doing it, right? Well, fortunately, <laughs> this is one of those diseases where we have made huge changes. Ten years ago, before 2000, if you got CML, unfortunately, unless you were young enough to have a transplant, your odds were not so good. But in 2000, Novartis developed a medicine called Gleevec, which is a pill. The pill had very few side effects, and the majority of patients who took Gleevec continued to live productive lives and are continuing to do well 10 years later. What we're showing at this year's ASCO meeting is that a newer pill called Tisigna, which is currently approved for treatment of failures with Gleevec, the second-line treatment, if we use that Tisigna as the first treatment, we may be even better, that more people might get in remission, and those remissions may be deeper, and hopefully that will translate to even better survival. And what is a, what, so what's in a pill like this, and what, in essence, what does it do? Well, it's very interesting. This is a, one of those diseases where we learned a lot about the biology. We actually learned why the disease occurs, and then we're able to rationally design a treatment to stop it. So in CML, what we see is that there's a gene called the Philadelphia chromosome, discovered, obviously, in the city of Philadelphia back in the 60s. And we learned when that gene gets broken, it tells the cell to turn on and grow out of control. And so we learned how to turn that gene off with these new medications. They're called tyrosine kinase inhibitors, and basically they turn off the gene so that the cell doesn't grow out of control. What was that thing yesterday, single gene in the Times? Uh, uh, you know, the guys that did the uh, DNA, one of them, uh, Creed, Crichton, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm off, maybe it's a different kind of thing, that they could, they could select just a gene. Um, well, there are lots of different chromosomes, lots of different genes that can turn on and turn off in cancers, and the trick is trying to figure out which gene is turned on, and then can we turn that gene off? Can we use that gene information to predict who's going to do well or not? CML was the first cancer 
where there was a chromosome that was identified that caused the cancer. So this was the first cancer. Like I said, in 1960, we learned about this. And it's the first cancer that we learned how to turn that gene off. And that is with the pill Gleevec. And now we can turn it off even more with the Cigna. Uh, that's great news. That's very, 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 very good. Um, so, I mean, you see this. So you see this face-to-face -face with patients? Oh, I take care of lots of patients with disease. There's about 4,000 Americans each year who come down with this disease. And what's good is that since they're living, we're seeing more and more patients because they're not dying from the disease. So each year we get more and more people with this disease, but we're able to control that disease. And in essence, how long can you control it for? Well, at this point, we're hoping forever. With these pills, we've seen 10 years of experience with Gleevec, and most of those patients who were treated with the pill are still doing well, still living productive lives. So we think that we have an answer for most of our patients, but not all. And that's why we do research. That's why at the ASCO meeting, it's so important to be able to show that a new medicine to Cigna can get even more people in remission so that we can have more people alive 10 and 15 years later. Well, that's putting the goose pimples on me, doctor. So uh, I'm very happy uh, uh, to be able to share this with our, uh, with our com community um, and, and the world. Uh, so let me ask you one last question. Uh, uh, and there's two websites, Novartis.com, that we'll link over to, and the ASCO.org uh, websites mm -hmm. uh, for more information. So what's good news for you, Dr. Goldberg? I think this is more than good news. This is actually great news that our patients with this previously deadly disease can now be put into remission with a pill and can live productive lives. And I think that's really, really encouraging. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much, and thank you for the work you do. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.